thank you for joining me for Your Dad Academy. We're gonna do some more simple little things around the house. So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a hibiscus flower from one of the bushes outside. Any flower will do. And we're gonna dissect the flower and we're gonna talk about all the parts that you can find. This is a fun little biology project to do at home. So let's go figure it out, all the little parts of the flower right here. This is Your Dad Academy, where we put together a whole bunch of different science activities for you and your kiddos. Please like and subscribe so I can put some more of these together for us. Here's a quick supply list for you. Just get any old flower that you can find in your front yard, some paper plates, and some scissors. Your fingers will do just fine. And as always, if you do not have any of these supplies, you can get them from my links below. They help support the channel. So let's take our flower right here, and what we're gonna do is just gonna use our hands to remove these petals. Your flower might fall apart a little bit right here, that's okay, and nope, oh, there it goes. So we're gonna put this ovary down and remove all the petals, and now you're just left with the female and the male parts of the plant. So these yellow parts, those are the anthers, which I affectionately call the manther, the male part of the flower, which makes the pollen. That's what all this yellow stuff is. And so I'm putting it on the female part at the top of that little style right there. That's how the flower gets pollinated. That's where bees deliver the pollen to the top, which is called the stigma or the female part of the flower. So I'm gonna cut the style right here, which is the main part of the female part of the flower. It's the support that holds the stigma at the top of the flower. And I'm cutting through here, and right away you can see that there's like a little pollen tube down here at the bottom. That's extended all the way from the top. It delivers the pollen to the ovary, to the eggs inside the bottom of the ovary. And so what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna take apart this ovary here. These are the sepals. I'm removing these real quickly for you. And then I'm going to cut this in half again so that we can see the ovules or the eggs inside of the ovary. So right here, we have a ovary that's cut in half, and inside there, there's tiny little eggs, the ovules, and so the pollen tube, it would uh, grow down right here, down the style, and it would go into this little tube. That tube has grown all the way down, and it would deliver it right into the ovary right here, and that's how that ovule, that's how that egg gets fertilized when the pollen grows all the way down and delivers the male a gamete to the egg. So let's look at some of the parts. Pretty pink parts are the petals. This is the female part, which is the stigma attached to the style. The male part is the anther and the filament. This is where the pollen is made. Then this is the ovary with the ovule eggs inside. And these are the sepals which protect the ovary. So here are all the parts labeled for you. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move some of these graphics out of the way. And I just wanna show you what the other name is for all of the female parts. Get this out of the way here. And so the stigma and style are part of the pistil. These are all the female parts here. And the stamen, it stays a man, is the anther and the pollen. So what's this called again? And what's this part up here? and this part that holds it in place, and this part that makes the pollen, what's that called? And this is the structure that holds them up there. And what's that again? Hint, that's where the eggs are. And what are these called? Okay, the answers are coming real soon, so if you wanna pause the video for a second, the answers are coming up three, two, one, now. So check your answers, were you right? You probably did a pretty good job. If not, rewind the video, try again, see if you can do better. I hope you enjoyed that. That's the end of my flower dissection video. And I really just want you to go out in your yard, grab a flower and try to do it on your own. Please like and subscribe. Also check out the description for some of the other links to my other videos. And if you buy any of the other things that are listed down there, it helps to support the channel. Go on out, have fun, and keep science awesome.